I have had my own fashion business for, I suppose, probably about 15, no, probably more, probably about 17 years now. It was always my dream to be a designer um, and very luckily have built the business into um, quite a strong brand focused on making women feel like goddesses. It's all very much very feminine, very sensual clothes. And um, I retail in my own store on Sloane Street and then wholesale to quite selected retailers around the world. Um, if you are going to start up your own fashion business, passion is absolutely essential. Without it, you will die. So if all you want to do is create, then go work for somebody else and be a designer within a team of designers, probably in a large company. But if your desire is within you somehow, actually I want to do something that's really my own product and I really want to push my name out there, actually the skills that you've got to have to do that are much, much, much broader than just being a creative. In fact, the proportion of my time spent just being creative is actually quite small. I'm mostly running and managing the business and now I have a retail business too, so I've had to learn the whole retail business. So, you know, you've got to be excited by that too and see that as a creative opportunity and not... Um, only the, the actual products. What became really, really clear was if I wanted to do my own fashion business, it wasn't just about being a great designer, but also being able to survive, because it was going to be a kind of tough road. Um, and everyone tells you that, but you never learn that until you're actually on the way. And so I decided that if I was going to do this, I would put together a really small collection of something that I could afford to do. And actually, that first collection was something like about nine pieces. Um, and I literally took it round in my car. I just drove around the country, took the collection round in the car and, and took, took sales, took sales in that way. Um, the collection was also quite focused on occasion wear, um, largely because I knew it would be very easy through contacts that I already had in the city to be able to sell that also to women that would want these items of clothing and I was right so I sort of started to build up two aspects of my business sort of in parallel one was the wholesale aspect but on this other side was kind of this if you want to call it a retail aspect without a shop it was bringing sort of two levels of income into the business. Does having a store help or hinder? I think um, having a store is um, like having your, well, it's your having your own shop window. It's your chance to really talk about your brand. It's your chance to really showcase your brand. So I think it's hugely important and it's had lots of different effects on the, the business. Um, you know, from, from the wholesale to, well, just I think the overall presence of the brand in, in a lot of ways. It just becomes a completely different animal. Um, but it's a lot of hard work. It's a, set, a completely separate business retailing to what I'd done up until that point. It's been a whole new learning curve for me. And do you sell the same things in your shop as you do to your wholesale customers, or are they different? Uh, yes and no. Uh, we have parts, certain p pieces of the collection that are exclusive to the store. So certainly things like that we do a couture service, a bespoke couture service that we operate from the store, which doesn't go to any other wholesale mm -hmm. boutique. Mm -hmm. um, and wholesale tend to buy very safe. They buy the things that really work. They buy mostly separate, so trousers, knitwear, um, shirts, they buy some dresses, but they're the very easy dresses you can dress up, dress down. They don't buy any long dresses, except for the Middle East market. Um, and for us, we have a much broader market. We have people that come to us for, for the long dresses, because they want to come to the designer's store to have that sort of item. We have people that um, we've worked with for many, many years, sort of 10, 12 years in some cases, um, that have built up their own loyal client um, followings within their stores and they're all small independent boutiques um, we don't sell to department stores because you don't really have the level of service in no. department stores um, that's really required for our product